Hello, I'm Daniel, and welcome to the Amuna Project. We here at the Amuna Project are continuing in our series of videos with respect to information, education, inspiration, guidance, advice. And um, I'm reminded of um, the patriarch uh, Abraham of Ramavino. And it is said uh, in the book of Genesis, uh, chapter 18, verse 1, that he was sitting at the entrance of his tent. And the Medrash and Rabbi Kiva uh, interpret this uh, in, in various ways. He was looking for wayfarers, passers-by, um, guests that he would invite. Hospitality was, was a very, very big part of, uh, of Ramavino's um, personality. It's part of his mission. And... Um, there is significance in that he was at the opening of his tent. He wasn't inside, you know, sticking his head out. He wasn't standing outside the tent. He was sitting at the opening of his tent. And um, he was providing an opening for the guests, for the wayfarers, for the passers-by. Because not only did Abraham tend to their physical needs. He gave them perhaps a meal. Uh, he gave them uh, hospitality, uh, whatever they needed. He tended to their physical needs, but he also tended to their spiritual needs. And um, he, would, um, he would tell them about Hashem. He would tell them about uh, uh, monotheism. He would tell them about the love of God and the desire of God. and and uh, the will of God that we should be good people, what we should do, what we shouldn't do. And this opening was an opening for the wayfarer, perhaps a, a sinner, um, a wicked person, or someone who's just not living up to what he should be, an opening for him to return, an opening for him to do um, tshuva and to turn his life around. It was a this was part of the service uh, of God, the Avodas, uh, the Avodas Hashem that uh, Avram Avino had. This was the way, one of the ways, or the many ways, that he served God by tending to passers-by, wayfarers, sojourners, people who were walking, and by, by vehicle of his hospitality, he would also um, give them an opening to turn their lives around, to acknowledge God, to obey God, um, in addition to the physical needs. He also uh, took care of their spiritual needs. Because, as we know, um, if you have a meal, that's great, you're hungry the next day. But if someone tends to your spiritual needs, that is something that, with God's help, will last a lifetime and will see you through good times and bad times. Um, we're going to be doing more videos along these lines. Please come back. Please watch. Please learn. If you're a Balchuva, if you're returning to Judaism, if you're a, a convert, uh, converting uh, to Judaism, if you're, uh, if you're the, the Bnei Noach, um, the people who acknowledge the God of Israel, who are uh, following the the seven commandments, the seven Noah's laws, the Sheva mitzvahs, B'nai Noach. These are lessons for all of us. When we help someone, sure we're helping someone, we're giving charity, we're, we're, we're assisting somebody, we're, we're, we're performing some service for them. It's an opportunity for us and for them. It is an opportunity to connect with Hashem and also to take care of a person's physical needs and also perhaps his spiritual needs as well. We're going to be doing more videos along these lines. Please come back, please watch, please learn. And until next time, on behalf of the Mono Project, I'm Daniel, and thank you too much.